Hello, my name is Tim Bean, and this is a short instructional video intended to show how to add constituents to a previously created chemical waste container label using the online hazardous waste program. Upon successful CalNet authentication, you are automatically presented with the Create Label page. This page is used to create a new label. We don't need to create a new label. We need to add constituents to a label that has already been created. To do this, I click on the View Waste and Accumulation link. Once there, I can either narrow my search or scroll down and select a label from the list of labels that have already been created. My list is too long, so I want to narrow my search. To narrow my search, I can do any combination of the following. Select my building and room or enter my tracking number. I've forgotten my tracking number, so I'm going to search by building and room. I'm in University Hall, room 383. I hit search, and there it is, tracking number 133. That is the label that I created previously. So to get to the label, I click on the label number link. the Edit Tag screen appears. To add constituents, I select the Add button and type in the name of the material I wish to add. Scrolling down, there's the Add button, and there's my search screen. Remember, when mixing wastes in a container, be certain the materials you are adding are compatible with the materials already in the container. I wish to add some waste acetone. I enter the name, hit search, and look for it on the list. There it is, acetone liquid. I select the radio button, and acetone is now appearing on my previous label list of items. Now I enter the amount and units. I will generate 200 milliliters of waste acetone. Take note that my total volume in my one liter container will now be 0.8 liters. That is 80% of the container capacity. I've been trained to not fill the container above 80%. So this addition means that my container capacity is reached and I will not add any more waste to it after this addition. Instead, once I print and affix this label and add the acetone waste, I will request a pickup from EHS. To complete the process, I check any additional hazard checkboxes the acetone presents and add additional comments if I have any. It all looks good, so I'll just leave what's already on the label. Okay, I'm ready to update my label and print. I make sure the Update Label option is selected from the drop-down menu and hit Save. My waste tag is updated successfully. Now I want to print. I select the Print Label button, and the PDF of the label appears with all of my constituents and now I can just select the print button and print the label. One final note, it is alright to handwrite on your initially created label or on a nearby clipboard as you add waste to the container over time. If you choose to do this, you must list the hazard classes as determined by the primary constituents, the amount added and the label number. Then, prior to requesting a pickup, you must add each of the handwritten constituents to the initial label using the process just described. Okay, that's how you add constituents to an already created chemical waste container label using the online hazardous waste program. Thank you for viewing this presentation.